Good day and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at uh, panel data analysis using difference GMM. GMM is a generalized moment of method and is a framework for deriving estimator. Or why GMM? GMM is well suited for a dynamic panel model. Okay, and a dynamic panel model is one that has the lag of dependent variable as one of its explanatory variables. Uh, model specification is here okay you see this is dependent variable and the lag is one of the explanatory variable this is a vector of other explanatory variable and these are the error terms okay uh dynamic model a short term model and there's a gmm estimator is good when we have a large number on here of n and small t panel analysis we call it short panel okay but the uh, dynamic model uh, is confronted with two major issues and that is of the correlation and that, that's resulting from inclusion of lag dependent variable in the model then the second one is a problem of endogeneity okay uh, the observement effect and interaction effect which characterize the endogeneity and unit now because of these two uh, inherent uh, uh, problem in dynamic model Estimating this model using a panel OLS fixed effect or random effect will yield a bad or inconsistent estimate. So in 1991, Arulana Bond introduced different GMM. Okay, and it takes care of auto, uh, uh, autocorrelation issue and endogeneity issue by difference in the model and by using instrument in uh, panel data analysis. Now let's go to Stata and demonstrate this. Okay, this is Stata 13. It is empty. Now we need to bring in data into it. So I'll come to File, uh, Import, then I'll come to Excel Sheet. The first thing is I click on Import First Row as variable name, then I'll come here to click on, uh, on Browse. This will take me to uh, my where the data is located in the system can help me locate my data in the system. I save it in the document session and then I can navigate down to get it. I save it as a panel data. Panel data, right? Okay, data panel. I double click on it and then I have it uh, brought here. we have the data in the system and I can click on OK 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 if I want to see the data at a glance I can come to the command box here and tap edit this will bring out the data editor bring out the data and the spreadsheet OK this is data uh, see the structure of the panel data the company the cross ID the uh, invest share and the, the face capital so back here it is advisable that when you are doing any analysis you create a log file this log file will help you keep track of all your analysis Okay, so you come to file here, you come to in, uh, log, and then you click on begin. It will ask you to save it with a name so that you can always look at it in your system. In this case, I will save it with a uh, difference gym. Okay, okay. So the next thing we do is to declare data as panel data. To declare that panel data so that the system can recognize it as a panel data so we type this code to declare that the panel data uh, as st sets um, cross id cross id and yeah i'm using cross id because that is what i used to label the unique characteristics of each of the cross session if you come back to the data editor you'll see what i have as cross id you could have company ID, you could have country ID. If that is what you use then in your command there, that is what you have here. Okay. So I click on OK, enter rather. You see it is declared. Panel variable, cross ID, strongly balanced panel, uh like that, like that. Uh so the next thing I want to do now is to transform my variable. Okay, transform the transform into the log uh, log uh log format, the log uh, version of the series so that can help me you can give me a reasonably modest result so to do that that generates uh lean 
invest equal to logo invest click on enter in this test generator generate link or shares equal to log shares so go click on enter then generate link six copy equal to log fixed sorry for this fix copy and that are generated now we can unstart that difference german uh let's come back and look at the various code we can use to run this analysis okay Okay, this is the first code. Once step difference German with no lag option. I will tell you the implication of not using no of not using lag option in your analysis. So we'll copy this. Copy this code. I will paste it in the command session. Sorry. So we'll come to the command. And paste it. Okay. So this is the code. Estab on two. This is the estimator. Okay. And now this Estab on two can be used to fit two closely related uh, dynamic panel model. That is uh, both difference German and system German. The Arilene and Bond in the the Blonder and Bond uh, gem. So you can use it for both. Uh, difference in uh, system german has been proven to be efficient okay this is the dependent variable the lag of dependent variable these are the independent variable. no level equation here is telling you that you should not estimate the equation level rather first difference this is one of the unique differences between this is the unique differences between uh, one of the unique differences between difference german and uh, system german we have a uh, we have robust a robust uh, for one step estimation robust specify that the robust estimator of the covariance matrix of the parameter estimate be calculated okay no matter okay for every state nine and above there is this no there is this matter option so you have to put no matter to suppress it okay if you are using state seven and eight you need not to worry now this you have two type of instruments okay in, in the uh, gmm estimation Okay, we have the external instrument and internal instrument. This IV is the external instrument, the strictly exogenous variable, okay, dependent variable. And the internal instrument, yeah, and that is uh, the lag of the dependent variable, okay, and the lag of other variable we perceive that, that is correlated with, uh, with the dependent variable, okay. So we click on enter. Uh, the result the system is bringing up the result bringing up the result okay it's a little slow what's coming up okay so we have a result at once so you see number of instruments 107 number of observation 180 number of groups 10 so our result this is the lag see the coefficient of share it shows that uh share capital is uh, positively correlated with investment okay you interpret result, this result in, in, in elasticity okay in percent okay uh that means uh, the one percent uh, increase in uh, in share will lead to zero point five percent uh, increase in uh, invest investment. Okay, so that goes the short run model. So you interpret it in elasticity, the probability value, and the consistent interval. Now we have two important post estimation tests. 
okay and that is the correlation test and the, the instrument valid test okay so for the autocorrelation test uh, we are expected the null hypothesis that the, there is no autocorrelation in the model so for ar1 we have to reject the null hypothesis and for ar2 we have to accept the null hypothesis okay ar1 because of the nature of the dynamic model we expect that correlation be present okay at lower level but at high order we expect that there should be no autocorrelation so in this case uh this does not pass the autocorrelation test okay and then we have the instrument validity test we have the Sagan and the Hansen the null hypothesis for this is that instrument are valid so for the two we are expected to accept the null hypothesis it means uh, our probability value is expected to be more than 0 0.05 okay that's at five percent and if you're looking at ten percent that is more than at 0 0.10 or more than 0 0.10 percent in this case uh well let Hansen show and it shows uh you know uh it shows that instrument for, for Sagan instrument are weak okay but uh it is very important that the two of them accept the null hypothesis okay of uh that instrument are valid okay now one of the consequences of not including lag okay not specifying the uh the, the giving your uh instrument range is that it could lead to uh instrument proliferation okay instrument uh, proliferation in the model okay when you estimate with no lag option and the consequences of one some of the consequences of that is that uh it could lead to overfitting of endogenous variable okay bias estimate and it weakens it weakens sagan test okay so now i'm going to introduce you to another code another code that uh that consider lag option lag option okay still on one step but this one will include lag option we'll copy this code test here let me to close this bracket okay okay sorry this data is very sensitive to this case sensitive so you need to be careful when you're using it okay we have a result we have a result okay look at this number of instrument is seven that's because uh, we included lag in our in our code okay now the lag will help us to restrict uh, the number of instruments accommodated in the model and that will help us to avoid the case of instrument proliferation and how you determine your lag is not really scientific okay but by rule of thumb you expect that your lag should the lag is specified should not be more than the number of variable you have in the in the model okay so in this case uh see a coefficient standard error uh still uh ar1 okay here we can uh reject null hypothesis at uh can reject no hypothesis you know at 10 percent okay but here at five percent we can accept uh null hypothesis but for instrument validity sagan is totally out of the way so it means that uh this model is not a good model these two tests are very important that will justify the validity of your model okay so you can try another other code okay let's say you can use two or four okay let's see what we have two and four okay look at our results look at our results okay so you can try as many you can look at try as many lab options as possible so this is a one step difference journey okay uh I will, if you enjoyed the video i would appreciate you uh subscribe the channel okay you comment you like and share with friends thank you for listening and god bless you